Tom. Hello, everybody! Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, the Krug Chronicles. Or the Krugicles, as some of you have taken to calling it. In the last episode, we made it here to this uh, Akaviri ruin, and I missed this chest, and I can't believe I did. Also, I should probably be a little bit careful because there are skeletons across there. I think they're, they're getting closer. Wow, are they getting closer. Okay, let's get into this quickly. Whoops. There we go. Uh, healing and sorcery. I've been, I've been kind of looking into stuff about this game. First off, I figure, uh, something that y'all have been telling me a lot lately is that if I come down here and I actually use a Welkin Stone, I get all my Magicka back. So, uh, I'm glad I learned that now as opposed to a hundred episodes later because, you know, we're gonna be going on that long with this. And it also incentivizes, uh, me grabbing more, uh, more Welkins, Welkin Stones. I could go down there and see what's down there, but I kind of want to clear out the room first before I start trying that. Yeah, they're just straight up coming down here. Uh, some, uh, I think uh, sneaking as well is determined by the weight of your armor. And uh, since I'm wearing heavy armor, that's, uh, that goes up by a lot. However, uh, I'm also, also looking into some other stuff about this game. Screw it, let's just go into it. Oh, goody, it doesn't have enough enchantment on it. I pro that probably means I should be using the mace, right? Unless that ran out of enchantment, too. That has no uses left, either. However... Paralysize! Damn it! Let's go with the mace, since I've got a better shot with that, anyway. I do more damage with the maces. One thing I learned about the power attack, like the sidestepping power attack, it's a 5% chance to disarm. So I so basically I'm rolling that 1d20 and hoping for a crit. All right, all right. Hold the phone. What is that one like wizard's touch or whatever? Wizards Wizards fury. There we go. That's what I should be casting at these things. Bam! What bam! What bam! I've also determined how uh how oh Am I stuck in those? Oh god! I've also determined how uh Ooh. how like uh the uh the skills are increased in this game. Uh it's a little dumb, I will admit. But uh basically, uh at least for in terms of destruction, it's not how much damage I do, it's how much I, I hit them. Or it's like if I hit them at all, then it gives like a set amount of experience. So, one thing that a lot of people generally do in this game, uh, for that, is they'll just make the weakest, uh, the weakest spell possible, and have it, have its, uh, its range to be set to self. So then you're just casting fire on yourself over and over again, and then... looky do. Speaking of looky do, maybe I can get the sneak attack on this guy. I didn't want to turn into... Uh, all day, all day, uh, all day sneaky man, but if that's how I'm going to be dealing a majority of my damage on the first hit, then I might have to start considering sneak. Although, when I get my heavy armor high enough, the, the weight, uh, from it disappears. Which I think helps with sneak? Now, this guy's just a sentry. I really want to see what's down that hole. I wonder if I could power attack this guy for more damage. It didn't really do as much as I hoped it would. How much did that power attack even add? It's supposed to add like like 1.5 times the amount of damage. I guess that that uh, scales properly. And a lot of my combat strategy is just forward hit when they're attacking back. It's uh, it's like when uh when what's his name? King Boomy from uh, from Avatar is talking about uh, talking about the different types of I think they're called jings. It's like the positive jing when you're attacking and, and uh, negative jing when you're treating and neutral jing when you do nothing. Where does this lead to? 
Oh, this actually leads, all right, this leads back somewhere. The question is, was I in scales before? I guess I could determine that, I was not. I was gonna say I could determine that by how much the map is filled out. Uh, <laughs> not at all. So we are in a new area, yep, he saw me. Okay, so much for sneak attack. Hopefully you're the only one in here. But I just had to explore, didn't I? You are all doing well and good here. Unarmed is apparently something that's really good to go into because not only does it do damage, but half of that damage is fatigue damage. So in theory, I could just be an unarmed master and just continue to drain my opponent's fatigue, making their attacks weaker. I don't know how much that affects on dead targets though. Not I'm increasing. Yes, I'm, I'm John Cleasing my block. Love the attempt at the stab. Did not work. Probably shouldn't even be going for stabs unless you're using a stabbing esque weapon, like a rapier. Another thing. Oh, that weighs a lot, but it's worth a lot. So I'll take it and possibly toss it if I can't carry anymore. Ooh, but do I? I don't think I have my hoisting petard anymore, but either way, uh, that wasn't really worth it considering I, all I did was make it so... It's weighed 22 and it was feather for 25, so I just made it so I wouldn't have- I wouldn't be carrying that. Still a good amount though. Is there only one thing here in the punchy pits? The punchy spikes? Try to get that sneak off. Gonna go get that sneak off. Gonna go get that sneak off. Gonna go get that sneak off. Hopefully this guy don't turn around. You know, I probably should eat a sandwich. And then actually blast it with some magic. Takes a little while for me to get that. Apparently, magical effects stack. Wait for an hour just to get my health back. Alright, I should probably avoid the spikes, as even though they are probably very easily avoidable, um, the fact that Krug is running might make that not so apparent. You know what I should have out is, uh, or active is, uh, I don't even remember which spell it is. It's gotta be, there we go, detect life. Which, uh, I think works with the undead as well in this game. I know in Skyrim it doesn't. Skyrim they made it so detect life only detects living creatures. Let me take a look at that map again. Fangs and Venom. That's a new area, I think, that we haven't been to yet. This place is gigantic, man! I thought I saw a ghost over there, but it was probably just a, uh, just the, the fog playing tricks on me. However, that's what all people say before they realize they're about to get swashbuckled by something. Okay. Here's the thing, this seems too obvious. I'm gonna pull this lever and that door's gonna open, watch. Never mind. That seemed way too obvious, but sometimes uh, things aren't as obvious as they seem. Uh, just bones in here. I guess this is some kind of prison. A prison of the Akaviri. In fact, this entire place might just be a prison. A bone and a skull. Have you seen Stephen George's playthrough of Fallout 4? You know that he would collect, uh... life again. Yeah, it does work on skeletons. Yeah, I'm still I'm still not not that Ooh. sneaky enough where I could just run around in heavy armor. I wonder if it's my sneak skill or my arm or my armor skill determines how well I can sneak in heavy armor.
Wizard's Delight! Red Sky at Night, Wizard's Delight! Red Sky at Morning, Wizard's Warning! I did have a drink before starting this recording. And... I did not uh, have anything to eat beforehand, so I got a little bit of a stomachache right now. I hear more bones. Dem bones. Dem. Yep, there are dem bones. He's facing toward me. Is he gonna face the other way? Screw it. Ow! I'll give you the Wizard's Fury. Oh, I was really hoping that crush you. Is it scary by Michael Jackson? God! No, wait! Hey, hey, Google, stop playing! What? What did Google even detect me saying that thought I was speaking to it? I was playing something by Michael Jackson. Don't know what. It honestly kind of freaked me out. I am quite surprised at the lack of skeletons here. Also, in case you get a little bit too quick for your britches there. Quick for your britches. In case you get a little too fast, uh, become too much of a fasty boy. Gold. I'm mostly getting gold out of these. Figured out how to get better at alchemy apparatuses as well. Uh, places sell them when you're at certain levels. And, uh, you can find them, uh, at certain levels as well. I've been in here before. Yes. Alright, let's go back to scales then, since I cleared that out. Yeah, today's have been the greatest day. Uh, Manatee ran into a, uh, an amenity at the, the park when he wasn't looking where he was going and he sliced his face open. So, uh, he's at the, uh, the emergency vet right now getting, uh, getting stitches done. And I thought I'd while away the time while I'm waiting for him recording some more, uh, some more Oblivion. Excuse me. Almost called the Skyrim again. Can't do that. Can't do that. Well, I don't know if there's anything up this way. We also got the fangs. What was it? The fangs and the venom? Ooh, what do we got here? Uh-oh! Ha <laughs> ha! That also opens that door. However, I have proceeded to trap myself. Okay. Fangs of the serpent, let's go. Oh, I've been here before. Okay, this is just the other side of that place I was at. Gotta open your heart, dude. How does one get over there? Can't walk straight through there. Just okay, yep, that works. Neat. Well, okay, well I saw what was down there. Don't need to worry about that any longer. See, it may not be good for a let's play, but in terms of just the overall like gameplay experience of an Elder Scrolls game, this is so nice. Having these large, like areas to explore. Speaking of, hold on, I've got an idea. First off, I want to use a, uh, a magic sandwich. Second... Uh... Do I go to the... To my soul gems, too? Let's see. Yes, okay. Uh, I've got a grand soul gem with a common soul, so that's not really going to help me that much. You know, I'll use it. It, it, it was kind of a waste. But, here's the thing, uh, I want to use the sword because the mace doesn't have as good of an effect. Yeah, because I can damage Magicka with this depending on who I find here. Oh, and this door leads to the Venom as well. Ooh! Yo, Bethesda, what are we getting play play a block of Eerie? That must just be a way out. Ooh, quick saving. 
we have awaited your arrival, messenger. You have made a long and perilous journey, but there is no time to rest. The army of Raymond is at our doorstep, and our supplies have dwindled. We have awaited your arrival. Tell us, what news do you bring from Akavir? Uh... Here are your orders. Well done, soldier. Your mission is complete, and you have my thanks. Now we may rest. Long live the Akavir. Long live Krug. After seeing the orders, the Akavir commander vanishes. The rooms are now silent and at peace. After so many years, the Akavir's final mission is completed. I should proceed ahead to search for the Madstone. And yes, it did open up a way for me. A throne. I wonder if there's any like literature around here or anything. Well, there's probably the Madstone. Here is my reward for coming through all this. Dwarven boots. Uh, I can carry those. So the way I'm going to be finding any up uh, any upgraded uh, upgraded uh, alchemy supplies in the wild, that's a really nice looking chest, is uh, at necromancer hideouts or mage hideouts. Oops. Well, dang. One thing that's kind of weak about uh, about upgrading the uh, lock picking or your security skill is that the improvements from it just make it so you don't lose as many uh, of the tumblers uh, if you if you screw it up. A grand soul gem, a silver ring, and 148 gold, as well as the draconian madstone. I've obtained the draconian madstone. I should make the long journey back to Countess Car uh, Carvain in Bruma. Well, here's the thing, I should just be able to, uh, to fast travel once I'm outside, since, uh, even though I can't fast travel to the area, I can still fast travel to other areas. Yeah, that's really weird that it just does that. I'll just jump over these. That's where I fought that one guy before. Actually, I could just jump down here. Let me check the map. I feel like there's one area in this that I haven't been to. I have been to Fangs, Fangs, Mouth, Fangs again, uh, Venom. Was there an Eyes of the Serpent? I'll go this way since that's where the map's leading me. It's hard to tell where everything is in this area. I wouldn't mind exploring more just because of the, uh, just because of how much I could probably find in here. I got ri I've gotten rid of the ogre problem. I've gotten rid of the Akaviri problem. I'm assuming if I had uh, said I'm here for the Madstone or I'm here from Remen's army, then I would have to fight that ghost. And you know what? When when Krug can, Krug will handle things peacefully. For the sake of sandwiches. Okay. Pale pass. I just want to see what else there is. There is the eyes of the serpent. I'm wondering if I made any progress that way, or if I just went this way as sort of like a fast point. Because there might be more for me left to explore. It's been a little while since I recorded this. I had to record a bunch of this in advance because my editor was going to be out of town. No, I explored all this. Okay. Had to check. Uh, this is the right way, right? God, I hope so. A lot of bright lights here in the fog. Whoa, Black Betty, fog along. Whoa, Black Betty, fog along. I think at the current level, like I am, I can get journeyman's. Uh, can I get? I think I've already gathered those. Oh yeah, the Pell Pass ogres. I think I can get journeyman's al uh, alchemic gear from uh, random chests in uh, necromancer layers. But uh, in terms of what I could buy, I think I can only buy apprentice. All right, let's go back to Castle Bruma. Only by the time I fast travel, it'll be morning. Nope. Krug just going to stand and stare at Castle Bruma for, oh, ten hours. You ever notice that the wait happens in real time? Anyway, ten hours later, I'm back to recording this. I'm enjoying a nice uh, apple cider with, uh, with spiced rum in it. Welcome back, my lord. If you have the item, my <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Save.
If you have the item my lady seeks, I suggest you bring it to her. She hasn't slept a wink since you departed. Oh, God. She's the kind of person who would have, um... Safe journey, my lord. Well, you know what, though? No, she's, she's not a... She's not a scalper. She's a collector. I hope you bring... Have you recovered the madstone? I have, and I've gone mad! I never thought it possible. I mean... I had hoped... But to actually hold it in my hands... Oh, it's more beautiful than I imagined it. Congratulations. I had a feeling you were the right person for the job. And it seems I owe you a reward. This Akaviri ring was found with the messenger's diary. It awards the wearer with increased agility and resistance to harmful magic. Interesting. It's known as the Ring of the Viper Eye. I hope it serves you well in your future journeys. Okay. Uh, Draconian Madstone. The Madstone is finally mine. It's the pinnacle of my collection. Many thanks to you again. Wow. Pale Pass. With the information you have given me about Pale Pass, it could take scholars many years to amend the history books. Wow. Rumors? I've not always been happy with the standards of conduct in the Mages' Guild, but Hannibal Traven's reforms are quite encouraging. Yeah, we're about to fight a really bad necromancer, so you might want to put a cap on that praise. Always on your side. Greetings, Imperial. Well met. <laughs> heard any news lately? I've heard it, <laughs> I, the, a greetings, Imperial, just makes me think like, what if? <laughs> there, there are probably people who, who like, pleasurely greet each other by what race they are. Like, but I don't. It, it, as a whole, I feel like that wouldn't translate well to a real-world application. Hello, Caucasian. Good lord. Yeah, I'm afraid of saying the other ones without sounding horrifically racist. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh... Let's go back to the Arcane University and see if they've discovered what to do about the Necromancer. Although, I might go back there and the entire college might be on fire. Well, so far so good. Uh, you must be... Are you going to say that to me even after I become, like, the Archmage? Hello. Hey, Jaskar. Good day. Oh, you seem better. Let's get to training. Ah, he trains in destruction, but I'm better than the level he could train me at. Farewell. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Hey, Raminus, uh, what do you got about the Mage's the Guild? The Arcane University has been here for nearly as long as the Mage's Guild has been in Cyrodiil. It has been our home for ages. You too. Someone was telling me that the entirety of the Imperial City was is uh, restructured alien ruins, which makes sense why there's so much, so many uh, alien um, ruins and artifacts around. Trevin, you got anything for me? The guild needs you more than ever. At the worst possible time, the council is in ruins. They may die. A course of action could not be agreed upon. Some felt that we are in danger of being exterminated, and that it is time to fight back. Others felt it appropriate to fight fire with fire, as it were. The council has shattered, and artifacts have been lost. The necromancer's amulet and the bloodworm helm have been taken. Uh, bloodworm helm. A group of mages led by Earl of Jarol took the helm and have retreated to Fort Telemann in an effort to study it further. They hope to learn enough from it to find some way to fight Manimarco. I tried to dissuade them, but it was no use. I would like the helm returned so that it may be kept safe here in the university. I fear Erlaf has made himself a target for the necromancers. Right, kill everyone, get helmet back. Necromancer's amulet. Karanya insisted on removing it from the university. She said it posed a threat to the safety of the Imperial City. While I do not doubt that she was right, I question whether her motives were genuine. She seemed all too eager to explore its power. I fear she is not safe from the minions of the King of Worms. She is at Fort Antus. Please go there and return with the amulet. Help her to see that she should not use the weapons of the enemy, especially out of fear. 
Hmm. What about the Bloodworm helmet? What what other information do you have about that? It was last seen in the possession of Erla. Okay. Please return the helm here before any harm comes to it. Or the All right. He, there's members just like reiterating Secure what I have to do. Before it's too late. Oh my God. My advancement in this guild cannot come soon enough. Before we before we head out to those uh, quests, let's head back to the market district and sell some of our stuff. Let me get my uh, my abilities, friend of Krug, and uh, handsome Krug, ready. I think this is the. I think I can't remember if the one that I used to enchant myself is a. Uh, Last longer or the one I used to enchant them, but it all happens within a second, so. Oh, restoration increased. Friendo Krug. Good day. Hello. Krug wish to sell. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Uh, right, because I need to sell stuff that I need that I, or they, you need that I don't have. Bow of weariness. I think I was holding on to that for the time being. Fatigue damage on strike. Ooh, because I have this, I should be able to enchant other things with uh, fatigue damage. Although I would love to make a spell that does fatigue damage. Keep the dwarven arrows. Keep this. Okay, what about armor? Dwarven boots. Be gone. Fine transact. Jade necklace. Be gone. Haggle. I think that's about as good as I can get. Let me try the sixty-seven, but I don't think it's gonna work. No deal. Nope. Fortunately, because of the way the spell works, he's still at 100 disposition. Every time you uh, you lose out on a uh, on a, um, an agreement like that, well, I should probably equip this Ring of the Viper Eye. Resist magic 9%. I wonder if that stacks poorly with the um, with my spell absorption, and the fact that it'll give me less mana if it if it procs. I'll keep Krug's thank you good ring. Yeah, I'd love to have better like alchemic equipment. I have a lot of ogre's teeth. Good lord, do I have a lot of ogre's teeth. Uh... Yeah, I think it's everything I want to sell for now. I appreciate your business. I... Krug, appreciate you being so susceptible Hi. to magic. Krug is now significantly less handsome. Go ahead. Uh, How do you do? I'm going to rest up, up in the waterfront. before heading out. Just to level up. Although leveling up is is like counterintuitive, ah, the more I level up, the the easier it'll be, be for me to find the uh, the um, alchemy stuff I need in the wild. Greetings, I want to go this way. Hello. I mean, hello. Krug wishes you good day, friend. I can never remember which one of these is the right door. Mage's quarters. There we go. Alright, Krug will leave at the mor in the morn. Uh Krug will sleep for Krug will sleep for eleven hours. A new day dawns for Krug, and Krug is able to do more as a result. Sneak security and marksman. I might need to increase agility at some point, but that that, that day is not today. How much fatigue you have, how much you ha health you have, and how much your health will increase when you sleep to raise your level. I think it will go with endurance this time around. Yeah, getting that intelligence boost is gonna be good. How quickly you regenerate your magic? Yeah. Let's go with endurance. I probably should have been raising intelligence more, honestly. Yes, I'm Boderi Ferrano, Mage's Guild. You want advanced training in mysticism? I think I can fit you in. Actually, that wouldn't... You don't... Maybe you maybe see? you have to be within your active hours in order to do that. I haven't actually checked out the Mage's Quarters, uh... Basement. There's a chest, but I... Oh, there's actually people that sleep down here! I didn't know that! Can I steal someone's personal belongings? No. They're all reading up about the Akaviri. I think play Black Akaviri would be a good idea. Couldn't have tried, cause like, what is it? What does Skyrim take place after this? On top of that, like, Jesus, get out of my face. How far after does, like, the Elder Scrolls takes place over like, 
I think from like Elder Scrolls 1 takes place at least over 500 years. So there could have been another Akaviri invasion since then. I also don't know much about the Elder Scrolls Online, to be honest. In terms of its uh, place in the Elder Scrolls universe. But the one thing I don't like about it is the fact that like... When you're playing uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, because it's an MMO, it's got to be balanced in a way that's that's not only like balancing the other players, but also monetizable. So like, that's why I really can't get into it. I like having the freedom to make very broken things. Anyway, next time on the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, it's Krug Chronicles. Uh, I'm actually going to take a stop at the Priory of the Nine to recharge my sword and my, uh, my mace, as well as probably make some more potions. Actually, I might save my, uh, my, my ingredients, uh, to, in order to see if I could find any better alchemy tools and make better potions out of them. But anyway, I will see you all next time. Later! Krug praises the sun even though it's night. Look at the tiny suns in the sky.